Hey guys and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to go around all the things we have learned so far and assemble them in an architectural plan. So let's do it. First let us set the units in which we will work. Write units on the workspace, press enter and here set as you please. In my case I will work with architectural end lines. Next we need to make a layer for the exterior. So open layer properties, create a new layer and make an exterior valves. After creating the layer it is time to draw. Go to line command, pick your starting point and enter the text dimension. 10 feet with 0 degrees, 20 feet with 19 degrees, 20 feet with 180 degrees, 10 feet with 270 degrees, 10 feet with 0 degrees, close the line. Use the Pedit command to make the separate lines into the one line. Activate the Office command, write the value of 6 inches and make an office of the lines on the outside. Activate the Explode command to separate the lines. Create a new layer for the interior walls. Activate the office command, write a value of 10 foot and click on this sign so we can create the room. Activate the office command again, enter value of 3 inch, click on the new line and make an office on the inside. Again activate the office command but now enter the value of 5 foot and click on this line and make an office from the inside. Activate the office command with value of 3 inch, click on the new line and make an office from the inside. Using the trim command, remove all of the unwanted lines. After creating the interior valves, we need to make space for the windows and doors. For the doors activate the office command with the value of 5 inches and click on this line and make a new line from the inside. Activate the command again with a value of 3 feet and click on this line we make and click the inside. Activate the extend command, click on this line that will serve as a border, press enter then select the new creating line. Activate the trim command to remove unwanted lines. This procedure is repeated for the rest of the doors. After we deal with the doors, next step is to make space for the windows. The same method is used as the door. Activate the office command with the value of 1 feet and 5 inches. Click on this line from the inside and make an office. Activate it again with the value of 3 feet. Click on the new line and make an office for the inside. Activate the extend command to select the border line and extend those lines. Then with the trim command, remove the unwanted one. The same thing for the second windows as well.
create a new layer for the door. Open the toolbar and drag out the door. Then change the dimensions that are set by default and position and set them at the corresponding place with the use of the move, mirror and rotate command. The same do with the windows. Next step is to set the dimensions. We need to make them according to our need. Write dim style and here set your preferred options for the measure or you can copy them from me. And then set all of the necessary dimensions of the project. Activate the text command and highlight the rooms. First, highlight the living room, kitchen, bedroom, and bedroom. From an exercise, I will leave you to drive the furniture for those rooms with the help of the commands and tools which we press by now. And don't forget to make a layout for each piece of furniture separately. When you complete all of this, save the project in PDF. This is the end of this beginner course. I hope you learned something and this knowledge gained will help you create a new and better project. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and blog. Bye.